Hey, well, it's uh, Friday, uh, September 4th, uh, 2009, and I wanted to go over something that happened uh, yesterday night. Now, in America, we uh, we watch a game called football, really um, is misnamed. It should be called handball. Wait a second, they already have that. Um, throw ball, hand the ball off, throw ball thing, throwing an oblong ball, sport stuff with pads. I mean, we all know uh, the real football involves a lot of guys flopping on the ground and kicking it or something. Or if they get touched, they fall to the ground. Either way, this is a uh, um, this uh, punch heard around the NCAA, which is National Collegiate uh, Association of America or something. I don't know. Anyway, uh, the college football here in America. A uh, uh, it was between Boise State and Oregon, and uh, they had. Uh, Boise State pulled out a victory last year in Oregon, uh, 32, 37 to 32. They said there were some late hits on the quarterback. They were playing again this year. Oregon said, "Hey, we're gonna get back at you, man." Um, those were, but you know, those hits happened in the game. They were penalized late hits, um, things like that. But they said they were gonna put this beat down on um, Boise State. Well, they played him again last night, and um, Boise State took out this whooping stick. And smacked them down one side of the field. And then they grabbed it and smacked them down the other side of the field. And when they were done, you had this running back, um, LeGarrette Blount. Blount? Blout? Blout? B L O U T? I thought it was the end in there, it would be blunt. But it wasn't. Anyway, um, LeGarrette uh, Blount, if you take away the. Anyway. Uh, he uh, sucker punched the uh, linebacker, um, Byron Hout. What's with these weird last names, man? I guess only in football, you know what I mean? Anyway, um, sucker punched a dude after the game. He didn't get into it with him during the game because Hout was kicking his the whole game. You know what I mean? Dude had like eight carries for negative five yards. That's horrible, Okay. In, in football, the object is to go past the line of scrimmage, as in pretty much anything. You want to go forward, do a little better. Anyway. So he sticks dude. He didn't stick him. I mean, dude wasn't looking at him. Uh, Byron Hout wasn't looking at him. Or Byron, Byron Hout wasn't looking at him. Did I already say that? If I said that before, what do you... Th okay. Dude looked away, and then that uh, LeGarrette... Did the coward punk move, and his dude's head was turned. Conversation was over. Done talking. He's like, dude, we done whooped you. Go home. Enjoy the flame, plane ride. You know, you guys, you, you suck. Turns his head, and dude comes in. Plane. Just clanged him. He wasn't paying. He just, and the guy went down. And I was like, man, that's a total punk move. I mean, even in the street, even when stuff's going bad and guys are spitting and just talking trash to each other. At least 99% of those guys have enough balls to wait until you look at them before they knock you cold. A lot of bad things can happen when a person isn't looking and you catch them cold. But number one, that you're going to get knocked out a lot easier. Number two, you can't control yourself as you're falling. You can land awkwardly. That's where a lot of paralyzations happen and bones get broke, arms ankles, knees, I, all that happens. And um, so I watched this, and I'm sitting there going, what a punk-ass move. That guy was the ultimate in punk-ass. And number two, what's this fool doing throwing fists on a football field? It's football. This isn't boxing. You know, you want to be a real man. You want to throw some punches. Get in the ring with a mug that's going to be throwing punches right back at you. Don't be a coward. You know, football players can't fight. I mean, they bar fight and stuff like that, but if you tattoo a tattoo them upside the head, man, you know how to fight? They don't want none of you. I trained guys, man, that were D1 walk-ons, and um, they played D1 ball. Lineman. 275, 280-pound kid, you know. Came in, hey, I want to learn boxing. Do blah, 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 blah. You know, and after he got hit upside the head a couple times, he was like, yeah, this isn't like football. And I was like, I, I could have told you that. You know, football's football, boxing's boxing. There's that that kid should be in jail. That was assault. The game was done. 
you, know, you just can't walk on the street and go, hey, how you doing, Phil Flyer? Pop! And just bust him upside the head. You know, repercussions are going to happen, man. You guys, I just, look, it's Frank. I just punched Frank in the face. You can't do that. Hey, how you doing, man? Love you, man. You can't do that. Where, where in your mind? Anyway, you know, and the kids already had trouble. He'd been suspended for missing team meetings and workouts and everything. So it's not like he's a, this is a one-time incident thing. You know, this kid is a repeat, like a repeat offender in that sense, you know. And, uh, I don't know. Me personally, I think he should be suspended for the rest of the season. And he's lucky they don't pull a scholarship. That's me. I, there's no place for that, you know. I love a good fight. I love it when it's fair. You know, there's a place for everything. The street ain't it. And on a football field, ain't it. And in baseball's a joke. Basketball, I always like when they try to punch each other, but they don't. Because basketball players, athletes, they're not fighters, man. Them guys, they're like... Anyway, um, I'm getting carried away. I'm getting kind of hyped up because, you know, basically nobody can really fight unless you're a boxer. That's my opinion. So, but... I'm just throwing it out there. There's a place for fighting, and that's in the ring. You know, he wanted to fight old dude. They could have put the gloves down at the local local gym, man, paid $30, got their uh, little book, and got their picture taken. Like, you know, and they've been in the book, and then they get in the ring and beat the hell out of each other. That'd been fine. You know, it'd been watched, sanctioned kind of thing. You know, that's, that's great. You don't sucker punch a dude, man. That's a coward move. You know. That Pac-10, though, you know, they, you know, I expect it from, like, the SEC, you know, or some Pac-10, man, some, like, little West Coast boys, you know, I ain't, they sneak sucker punching dudes, man, that's, that cold-blooded, man. All right, anyway, that's all I gotta say yeah, I, about that, and I'll, I'll throw out some more videos this weekend, because wife's gone, she'll be at Hilton Head Island, and I got nothing to do but, um, sit down and, and, and bore half of you to tears, all right? Wait, this is Big Ragu. I'm out. As soon as I find the stop button.